Hi guys, it's Dulce. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a gum paste magnolia. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment sections down below telling me what you want to see next. Make sure to hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified of when I post new videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm starting off by making a hook on 20 gauge wire using some small flat pliers. I'm using floral tape to wrap the wire starting at the end with the hook. Make sure to stretch the tape out to activate the glue. Dust your hands with cornstarch so the gum paste won't stick to your hands and start rolling a small piece of gum paste into a cone shape. Dip the hooked end of your wire into egg white which will act as glue. Then insert your wire into the gum paste cone. Lightly press around the cone to adhere it to the wire. I'm using some small embroidery scissors to make small cuts all around the cone going all the way down. This is going to give our gum paste center a more realistic look. For the petals, I'm using three different size petal cutters. I'm using one small, one medium, and a larger cutter. For the petals, start by rolling out your gum paste on the groove side of a cell board. Remove it from the board and place it on a smooth surface. And use your small cutter to cut out three petals of this size. Remember that magnolia petals are actually pretty thick, so make sure to roll out your gum paste and leave it thicker than you usually would. I went ahead and cut out all my petals and just kept them covered so they wouldn't dry out. For your medium petals, go ahead and dip your 26 gauge wire into egg white and then insert it into the groove of the petal. Place your petal on a foam board and using the end of your fondant rolling pin, start slightly stretching out the petal. Then place it on a veiner and press down very lightly so you won't thin out the petal. Use your ball tool to thin out the very edge of the petal very slightly. And then place it on the petal former. For the medium petals, we are doing the exact same process we did for the small ones. So make sure to stretch it out with your rolling pin, vein it, thin out the end. The only difference is that we're going to dry them slightly differently. So make sure to go ahead and bend your wire. I'm putting them in the sphere former that I made by pressing aluminum foil into a bowl. So make a hole in the middle and then just insert your wire through that so that they can dry curved up. The larger petals, it's the same process as the other two. Roll out your gum paste in the groove board. Uh, wire it, then thin it out, and you're going to try to give it this kind of teardrop shape as you thin it out. And then vein it, and thin out the very end with a ball tool, and put it on a former. So don't press it down into this former, just kind of lay it on top to give it a slight dip. I also almost forgot to mention that you're going to be needing three of each size of petals. Three small, three medium, and three large. I'm going to be dusting the center of my flower with these colors. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of each of the colors that I showed you and mix them on a plate. Also make sure to let me know if you guys like when I include uh, the dusting part of the process. I did this with the previous flower and now this one. So just let me know in the comments down below if you want me to keep doing this or if you want to see a separate video on that. Dusting the center is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to give any specific instructions. I'm just going to let you see the footage and watch how I do it. Someone also suggested that I link the tools that I'm using. So I tried that in this video. They should be in the description box down below. When you dust your flower, I used some color combinations that should make it slightly lighter on the bottom and darker at the top. 
you're going to pack the color combination of brown dust and green dust on the very top two just to give it some depth. This is what your finished sensor should look like. Your last step is just going to be putting together the flower. Start by bending back the wire of your three small petals. And lining them up as, as close to the center as possible. I'm using half width floral tape to tape these around them. Go ahead and do the same to your medium petals, but your medium petals should already be bent since we dried them that way. You should be placing the medium petals in the spaces between the smaller petals. Once you finish placing all of your medium petals, your large petals are going to be placed underneath your small petals, which should be between two medium petals. So there you can see what I'm talking about better. Then go ahead and use floral tape to wrap the rest of the wire. And that should be your finished flower. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!